Hello everyone, this is Lorraine and today I am coming to you with my next nail polish review. Um, one is a older color but I've never used it and um, that I well, recently got on clearance at Ulta but the other color, well this is the one that's old, is the, at least I believe it's old, I had never seen it but it was only 49 cents so I'm assuming it's not a new color. This is Orange Impulse by Sally Hansen Insta Dry Line. And it's this really nice, um, pretty bright orange, kind of corally orange, but still orange. And that's going to be my main color. My accent nail is going to be in the uh, China Glaze Texture Polish. And this is in the color in the rough. It's this yellowish, greenish color. Um... I wanted to try these out really badly, so I'm going to be applying these on, I believe, just my ring fingers. I'm not sure if I'm going to do two nails or not. I, I may and I may not. I I don't know yet, just yet, but I am definitely going to at least put it on my ring finger. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Sorry for all the fumbling. Okay, so I'm going to get started with, of course, the color that everybody wants to know about, or the polish that everyone probably wants to know about, is the texture polish. So, as usual, applying it to the, um, the free edge of my nail. kind of thick but I found that lately some of the thicker polishes actually you have a little bit more control like there's not a lot of cleanup needed because you can just move it around just perfectly so I've gotten a little bit on my cuticle there so I'm in, am going to need to do some cleanup but not very much. I mean, overall, it seems it looks, it, it's applying really well. I mean, there's just a little slight bit of patch, patchiness or sheerness, like right in here and right in here. So overall, I mean, not bad at all. I must say, I do really, really enjoy, I mean, the application was just really smooth and really easy. Um, so I'm going to apply this to my other ring finger just so you can see it once again and then just probably do just one nail in the other color just because everybody's tried the Sally Hansen Insta Dry polishes and granted you know different colors apply differently even if they're in the same line but um, with most Sally Hansons, they're pretty pretty great polishes and normally opaque in one coat. But although I have found that there are some that are not opaque in the one coat. Ooh. And that one was like a pearlescent type color, so depending upon the formula will depend upon how opaque the Sally Hansen ones are. The cream ones are normally pretty opaque and apply really great. As you see, I did make a little bit of a mess, but nothing major, nothing, you know, out of the ordinary for how I normally make a mess. Getting that side is generally always messy and requires cleanup for me but you know this one actually applied a little bit more opaque uh, I think it's dependent upon the amount that you put 
on your brush because this one is just there's no patchiness or no streakiness or anything I mean this one isn't bad but it you can it doesn't have where it's thin there's not a lot of texture there so I'm definitely gonna apply a second coat so I will just do two coats on each one of these um, and then also the um, I'm not going to do a top coat because it didn't specifically say not to wear a top coat or to apply a top coat with um, when I looked online. Some of the other people who have already swatched this polish indicated that they did not wear a top coat because I really, you know, honestly was not sure if I should or not. But um, since there's no glitter or anything in the polish I figure just try without a top coat and see how it goes so this is the um, orange impulse by Sally Hansen insta dry and I believe this one might need two coats which is very unusual for the insta dry line especially for the cream formulas um, this one is a tad bit streaky I was so hoping for a one coater but oh goodness okay and don't go over it too many times as you can see I did um, it kinda makes the patchiness and the streakiness just a little bit worse but overall um, I do like the color. It's a very nice, it's more of a corally orange color. It's not like a, just a straight up true orange, but I really like it. I'm going for something bright, so I'm going to finish the rest of my nails and then come, show, come back to show you the end result. So thank you for watching and have a great day. Okay, so I have finished painting my nails, and here is the finished result. My top coat is on, except for the um, over the textured polish, I did not apply a top coat. I want to say that the texture, I mean, I like the texture, but on the with the one coat, I kind of like the texture better. It was a little bit more grainy looking than... Um, then with the two coats. This is one coat and this is two coats. So it's a little more coarse with just the one coat than it is with the two coats. It's coarse but it's just a different, slightly the look is coarser with one coat than it is with two coats. Still like it. Um, it applied pretty well. Um, you can really see, once it dries, you can see where your thin spots are just because, of course, it's not going to have as much coarseness. So in some spots, I, it, I required two coats because some spots just weren't filled in enough for it to be evenly textured. Um, the Sally Hansen Orange Impulse. This one, which is probably why it's 49 cents, it was kind of thick and kind of gloopy. I think it was just it's just kind of old or whatever. Um, so it did take a little bit of work to get it evened and smoothed out. But overall, the I like the color. It's nice and bright. And I think it goes well because it makes the green color um, the in the rough. The texture polish I think really stand out because they're contrasting colors so pleased with the look pleased with the quality and the outcome of the texture polish um, now the again this formula it could just be that for the orange impulse it could just be old but it required quite a bit of work to get it to be 
the at the opacity that I wanted. It was kind of thick and kind of not in a <clears throat> thick, not in a good way because it was kind of gloopy and would kind of wipe places off. So I ended up with a little bit thicker layers than I normally do. So that is the finished look of just the nail polish application. I do for two ninety nine. I really do recommend these. They're two ninety nine at nailsupplies.us. So if you like the textured polishes, I would check them out. I'll put their link in the description bar. So um, thank you for watching. Stay polished at all times, and have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to check out my blog giveaway video that I have. I also put a link for that down below. Bye.